Hi, I'm Tracy Bocken from Lush Fabrics with your release for this week, Sunday the 2nd of October. We are in October already. We have 10 new fabrics for you today. Lots of summer stuff again. And the first lot is Double Brush Poly. And that is what I am wearing today. This one is called Staycation. I've gone a little bit back to winter here, I know. I actually made myself this dress to wear to a high tea in August. So um, it's come up in the schedule today. So I know I'm a little bit out of whack wearing some winter stuff here. Um, but, you know, there's probably still going to be some occasion to wear it. I'm just going to stand on my little stool here. I still can't quite show you all of it. I've made a longer length Asta dress from Wardrobe by Me. Um, I feel very elegant in this dress, I have to say. Um, it is probably a short midi length that I've made it. Um, and with the long sleeves and some winter boots on, um, it's quite nice for that. But obviously this would look amazing in a summer garment as well because it's such beautiful, bright, vibrant colours. Um, it'd look great in a summer dress or a top or a pair of pants or something like that. So double brush poly, gorgeous and soft. It's brushed on both sides, hence its name. Um, it has amazing stretch. So it's quite a big print, as you can see when I hold this fabric out. Let me show you again. So it's quite a big print, but it doesn't feel monstrous when I'm wearing it. Maybe I'm just in La La Land, I'm not too sure, but it doesn't feel really massive on. Um, I guess this particular skirt is four pieces, so that might be part of it, I suppose. Um, okay, now this one. Let me show you. I don't need to do that. I'm wearing it. Let's take that off. That's so silly. Okay, 1611 is what I used, and it comes up really nicely. Obviously, when it goes over the dark blue, you can see it a little bit more, but it blends in really nicely there. And you could put it with the blue aqua modal if you wanted a solid colour as well in your garment. So this is Staycation, and I love this one. I did put a um, photo up in our Facebook group yesterday, so you can see the full detail of the dress there. Okay. We've got quite a, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got, I've actually got five double brush polys today and they're all pretty amazing. This one um, is called New Hope, which makes me think of Star Wars, even though there is nothing Star Wars about this fabric. It's a super cute fabric. So I'm going to show you up nice and close so that you can see. You can see that. Isn't it cute? Now, the colour is not coming up well at all. It's a really sweet, maybe ballet pink um, is the word. The dots are coming up an okay colour. Um, it's just the actual fabric base. It is actually a really sweet pink colour. So it's New Hope in pink. Really, really cute. Um, great for all ages, I think, and lots of different sorts of garments. Is that a great big mark on there? Sorry about that. I showed you the wrong piece there, didn't I? Let's try again over here. Okay, so again, drape, stretch, amazing. Makes it so that you can um, use this particular fabric base for all sorts of garments, which is so good. So 5096 is our thread coordinate and we've matched this one with the apricot single brush poly and bright pink 250 gsm modal sorry that just have a thread on there and that is really nice with those bright pink dots and ivory double brush poly with those ivory dots there what else have we got? Oh, we've got some light brown for the brown dots. Let's see if I can make that light a bit more, make that a bit better there. I don't know if it's made that better or worse. Brown dots. And do we have another one? Yes, a tinge of pink. And this is a 250 GSM modal. So it's 
it's a bit lighter than that one. Okay, New Hope in Pink, Double Brush Poly. All right, the next two that we have today are restocks. So this first one is an amazing print called Xanadu. So this is Xanadu in pink. It's so classic. I just love the plain black print in it. It looks so great against the pink. So we've had the rust. Which I think we've still got some rust left. The olive tends to sell out quite quickly. And it does come in reverse as well with the black background and the white print. Um, and then we have the reverse of that, the white background and the black print too. Very pretty, this one. So 155 is the thread that we put with it. And I don't have a matching pink. Black will look absolutely amazing with it. Um, but we don't usually do photos with black because it's a bit of a given that it's going to look okay usually, black. All right. Uh, our next restock is a bit of a classic, Tiny Dots in black. This is really great for um, as a coordinating fabric as well. You know, it doesn't, it's beautiful on its own, but it can also be a really nice coordinate to go with something. It's cute, I reckon. Same old stretch, same old drape. And we put this one with... 4,000. All right. I'm oh, moving through quickly with some restocks and nowhere near as many coordinates this week as there were last week. That helps too, I think, to not hold up your whole day with this video. This is a really cool fabric. I'll move that around again. Let's see. This one is called Purple Fireworks. Again, it's a really big print, but I think when you you know, you cut your pattern pieces out, it's not going to look quite so big. But look at that. It's really cool. So, you know, like if you had a, for this skirt, for example, you know, you'd end up cutting through that big tie-dye circle there. Um, and so then it just, you know, it makes it a smaller print that way. Lovely and soft, very stretchy, this one. Lots of stretch. There's your drape. Now, what have we put here? So thread number 1000, it's our ivory colored thread, not against the purple, against that one. Uh, okay, vivid purple, we put with this one. And sky blue, because there are these little dusty bits of blue going through there. Um, ivory double brush poly and blueberry modal for those darker blues in here, the darker bluey purples that are going on in there. So there's a few coordinates there, which are really cute, but I just thought it was a really cute fabric, purple fireworks. All right, let's try a different fabric base now. We have a ghost crepe. You've actually seen this print before in a double brush poly. So this is Radiant in this Ghost Crepe. Let me see if you can see the texture of the Ghost Crepe this week. I know last week the print was so busy that it was just really hard to see the crepey texture. Can you see, especially through the light colours, that crepiness that's there? So this fabric has that crepe texture to it. Um, it is a polyester. It's a 96% poly, 4% spandex. Uh, it only has the bias stretch. It doesn't have any horizontal or vertical. It is a woven. And it has really great drape. This is a really popular fabric base uh, because it sits so well. It's nice and easy to sew. Uh, and it just drapes beautifully in your garment, or as your garment, I should say. All right, so 4,000 is our thread. And then we put this one with the burnt orange. That's really nice. That's a double brush poly, the burnt orange. And ivory. And of course, black will be amazing too. Radiant Ghost Crepe.
All right, what else have we got? Let's pick my little page there. A rayon Shelley, I love this rayon Shelley. This one's called Rock My World. And I need to show you this gorgeous little print close up. Isn't it sweet? It's really cute, black background, so that it really pops, the colors really pop there. So Rayon Shelley is 100% Rayon. It is a woven, it's lovely and light. It's amazing to wear in summer. It's just beautiful. So, so pretty. So I don't have any stretch to show you, but there is the drape. Gorgeous. Now, what have we got with this one? We have obviously a black thread. And then we put it with the apricot single brush poly. And dusty green double brush poly. And light brown. Let me find that one. Light brown as well. All right. I hope you like this one as much as I do. I think it's really sweet. Rock My World Rayon Shelley. A very cute little print. Okay, now, last time I had a fabric like this, it went very, very quickly. This is called Staying Alive. Going on a bit of a John Travolta theme for these metallic slinky fabrics. This is uh, Staying Alive in Burgundy Metallic Slinky. Now it's got the different names. So the other one was Saturday Night Fever. This one is Staying Alive. So I'm just gonna adjust that light a little bit. This one's Staying Alive um, because with Saturday Night Fever, these little bits that are on here, they were all squares. On this one, we have triangles and circles. It's sparkling at us, so I think you have, might be having a bit of trouble seeing it. If I can, no, I'm having a bit of trouble showing you this little feature of this fabric because it's just too sparkly. Oh, that might be, oh, no, that's a little bit better, I think. You can see some of the triangles in there and there's also circles as well. So that's the only difference. The Saturday Night Fever had little squares and this has little circles um, and little triangles on it. So the Saturday Night Fever was a black background. No, yes, yes. We'll have to think about that. I think it was with the blue. They're not sequins, but they're kind of like sequins on them. This is all burgundy anyway, is what I'm trying to get at. But look at that. It's got such great movement to it. It's almost a little bit liquid in its movement. It's really, really pretty. It's really nice. So this one, let me show you how it feels on the inside. Let me show you the inside. So the inside is really nice and smooth to the touch. There's nothing prickly or scratchy on there. It's really nice and smooth. So if you're going to make yourself a dress or a top or something like that that required bands um, and you don't like the idea of having this on your skin, you'd probably want to use another fabric. But that should be the only place it gets... Um, you know, itchy and scratchy. It should be the only spot because it's really smooth on the inside. It's only if you've got your band folded over like so that you would end up having some of this up against your skin. Um, what is the composition of this one? 87% nylon, 8% metal, 5% spandex, 190 GSM. I know it looks sheer like this, but I, if you remember, did that Saturday Night Fever dress um, and I didn't wear anything under it other than my underwear uh, and it wasn't sheer. So let me show you the stretch. Really good stretch, which is great. Now, I love this colour. I really like the Saturday Night Fever and the Royal Blue, but this is more of the colour that I usually gravitate towards. So now I'm thinking, can I go somewhere to warrant making myself something out of this one? Let's face it, probably not. Okay, 162 is our coordinating fabric, uh, thread, I should say. 
and we don't have any coordinates because it's just a solid color look at that isn't it amazing i think it's just beautiful oh love it okay two more for you i have a rayon spandex now this one is called confessions in pink so it's just that sweet little floral uh pattern to this one it's a really lovely and soft rayon spandex um, rayon spandex is great for a nice summer t-shirt or even a little summer dress if you're going to stabilize the horizontal seams because this sort of fabric can grow on you and get a little bit bigger during the day um, there you go it's got really great stretch both ways amazing drape and lovely and cool to the touch no matching thread for this one unfortunately and the only coordinating fabric i found was the off-white modal confessions in pink rayon spandex and your lush sunday special for today is a dty and it's in a print that you've seen before but not in this colorway dty it feels lovely and slinky and it's a poly knit and this print is robin so we've had this a few times in different colorways and there are some beautiful colors in this uh, and this is a great fabric i think for coordinating with other colors okay first of all it's stretch really good horizontal really good vertical there's your drape now let me show you what we put this one with cypress green double brush poly to go in with those ones and then we did no not that one ivory is that the one ivory double brush poly sorry i'm in the dark that's why i'm getting spots of darkness today uh light brown double brush poly to go in with those and i got an olive liverpool and i just couldn't find my sample of it so you have to check the photo on the website for that one uh spice this is my sort of favorite color this is a double brush poly and i think they are gorgeous together it feels a little bit christmasy uh top this is a, a 200 gsm modal that's really lovely too so this being your lush sunday special means it's a little bit cheaper just for today it's release day uh, so if you haven't tried dty if you haven't tried lush before then it might be just a little bit easier to give it a go today with it being a little bit cheaper okay that is everything um, don't forget about our competitions on facebook and excuse me <coughs> sorry it's a whole new month so um if you wanted to use our monthly postal service then you can start afresh um we'll hold all of your orders if you choose the monthly postal service shipping option we'll hold all of your orders to the end of october and then send them all out together but there's more information on how that works on our website under the shipping returns and faqs menu tab so have a look at that one uh competitions monthly postal service that's it all of our fabrics on our website www.lushfabrics.com.au I hope you like them. I'll be back next week with some more. Thanks for watching. Bye.